Last legislative session, kind of toward the end of it, Republican Representative John Vanderwoude introduced a medical marijuana bill. You know, the late date didn't really help the bill get a hearing, but it was also and mostly because it was a personal bill. And personal bills don't usually go anywhere in the Idaho State House. But for many, medical marijuana is a personal issue and one they would like to see become legal. Right now, having any amount of cannabis in Idaho is illegal. And we're just one of 12 states where the medical version is outlawed. But Kind Idaho is hoping to change that with a whole bunch of signatures, too. Joe Paris tells us about the possibility of medical marijuana ending up on your next year's ballot. Depending on what side of the Idaho-Oregon border you're on, the marijuana laws are very different. Idaho is one of very few states with no legal marijuana in any way. Recreational marijuana, that's one thing, but an Idaho group says that they're focused on marijuana as a medicine. Patient choice in medicine through the legalization of medical marijuana. Joe Evans is treasurer for Kind Idaho, a political action committee and 501c4 nonprofit started in 2021. He says, to be clear, their group is solely focused on medical cannabis. Nor are we really looking at a full decriminalization, you know, or let's, you know, give people medicine, you know, allow medical cannabis for headaches. Evans, Kind Idaho, and their supporters noticed late in the legislative session that there was an idea pitched by Representative John Vander Wouda, the Idaho Medical Cannabis Act. The act was pitched late to generate conversations heading into 2024. But the idea is a narrow proposal that only allows, quote, ingestible cannabis process to a tablet, chewable droplet or pill containing up to 10 milligrams of THC. My problem with regards to the way that was arranged was it is extremely limited. Uh, there was only specific ways you could access it. The Citizen Initiative spells out a different path to medical marijuana. The pitch? to protect Idahoans from arrest, criminal and civil sanctions if they have chronic diseases, conditions, or are terminally ill. Legalizes medical cannabis for card holders in the state of Idaho. This gives them the opportunity to go in, sit down with a doctor, uh, determine whether or not the diagnosis warrants medical cannabis to support recovery and healing. And then they receive the card and that allows them to go to a dispensary to receive it. Kind Idaho is working to gather signatures on their petitions and they have until April 14th of next year to get about 63,000 signatures from registered voters to make it onto the ballot. It's a major task to take on, adding in the fact that Idaho is one of five states where there is no legal cannabis on any level. Evan says from that fact comes perspective. Idaho is the last state. And because of that, we have the advantage of lessons learned of every other state. And in addition to that, um, the big crisis for an awful lot of people is, well, that'll bring the drugs into Idaho. That'll bring the abuse. That'll bring the use. And my primary statement with or response to that is Idaho spends $3 million a week in border town dispensaries. Evan says Idahoans who simply want recreational marijuana, well, he expects them to continue to hop over the border to get their fix. He says Kind Idaho's campaign isn't concerned about that. He says they're focused on helping those in need. I just know too many people in my life that absolutely need this as an alternative as opposed to what they've been prescribed year after year because the thing that works best for them isn't legal in the state of Idaho yet. As you would imagine, there are a collection of groups across Idaho that say they are against any legalization action on marijuana, medicinal or recreational. Those groups will tell you that legalization will result in marijuana getting into minors hands or people without prescriptions. However, petition organizers point to a recent Survey USA poll that says 68% of Idahoans support legal medical cannabis. Uh, Brian, the, uh, the goal is to qualify for the 2024 November general election ballot. Uh, this is actually a very similar the same petition that was going around in 2020 2022 mm -hmm. uh, organizers of the petition campaign say for practical reasons it's very challenging to get those signatures during COVID. you know we we're covering the greater idaho story went to burns idaho of all places to talk to a medical or not a medical but a marijuana uh, dispensary there and they said primarily their business comes from those seeking pain management like a lot of it majority of them so it is i mean people go that far to get it if they need it too hmm. so it is a big issue all right thanks joe